Hey, welcome back. We're going to quickly go over the flashing instructions for the T-Beam Supreme. Um, I guess my last video wasn't uh, good enough for some people, so I'm going to reshoot it, help you out, because that's what I'm here for. So uh, we're going to start off, obviously, at flasher.meshtastic.org, and we're going to have our T-Beam Supreme. I'm going to go through the steps of using the interface here and then the buttons you need to push on your device. All right, so quick radio orientation. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a top down when I'm pushing the buttons there so you can see what I'm talking about, but you have the boot button, which is the furthest from the antenna. So the, in, the boot button is the one all the way down here on the bottom. And you have power, there's the next one up. And then you have reset is the top. The two buttons you're gonna be focused in on for this uh, procedure is the reset and boot. As you see here, I have the radio with the antenna to my right. So reset. I know the buttons are hard to see because it's black on black there. Power and boot. So first reset. and Or reset and boot. And then... We're going to release reset, then release boot. Okay, so you're at the flasher. You've already set up your radio. You got it in boot mode, right? Uh, as you saw there in that last uh, depiction. One thing I will know about the uh, this website, it only seems to work on Chromium-based. I use Brave as my primary. It doesn't seem to work with Brave. I'm sure there's configurations I could get into, but I also have Edge installed. And it works well on Edge. I've heard it also works on Chrome, you know, the Google Chrome browser. So, all right, we're going to select our target device, which is a T-Beam S-Core or S3 Core. And then you're going to go ahead and select currently the most stable version. That's you choose. I recommend, you know, that you use stable if you're, especially if you're not into messing around with tweaking stuff. So use the, which you see here, the most recent version, you're gonna select that. Then you're gonna select flash. So you're gonna get all these messages here. Continue, don't change anything here. If you wanna do a full erase and install, you can do that, but that's gonna erase all the settings like for channels and, and display settings and other things like that. So unless you need to do that, sometimes you'll need to do that if like you've kind of bricked it or something, but that's the only time I've really done the full erase and install if I'm having major issues. So you're gonna hit update. You're gonna see right here, I only have one thing hooked up to my COM port. That's it, connect. It should be connecting. You're gonna see all it's running through. See, look, flashing partitions. It gives you a percentage. It's going to go through its whole process and boom, you're done. Okay. So then you can disconnect your device. And uh, if you want to verify the, let's go ahead and hit, this is a quick way. You can do it also through the app. I'll throw in a screenshot of that, but, and we'll wait for it to display. That boot or the home page display, if it ever does it. Right there, you can see it's telling you what version it has. So, all right, <clears throat> there you go. I hope that answered your questions. If you have any other questions, put them down below. Check out our website and our other social media links, which will be down below along with the links for meshtastic.org. So, thanks for watching.